Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to this Lego Star Wars Summer 2014 Wave of Sets review and this is for the Imperial Star Destroyer set 75055. So I've already done an unboxing video of that and I'll put a link down to that in the description to this video so if you're interested to see the box, the instructions and the amount of bags that come with this set then go ahead and click on that link and that will take you to that video. This is going to purely be a review of the set and minifigures. Okay, so today we're going to be slightly different from my normal video reviews. I normally start with the minifigures, but this time I'm going to go around the set because the minifigures are actually in situ inside the Imperial Star Destroyer. Um, so we're going to take a start off by looking around the set and then we'll obviously have a look inside and show you some of the detailing and features and then finally we'll take a look at those minifigures. Okay, so before we get in close, I'm just going to give this a quick 360 view, so let's take a look at that now. Okay, so that was the 360 view. Uh, let's take a closer look at the external features or detailing um, for the Imperial Star Destroyer. And I'm just going to take us off the tripod to do this part of the video. So apologies for any camera shake. Okay, so here we go. So here is the Imperial Star Destroyer now getting up close and personal. So starting from the front, and we're just going to go across and up like so so while we're there you can just see some of the detailing um, sticker here um, on the front there so let's just spin that around and again no real features on this area it's just detailing i want you guys to have the opportunity to see all the level of detailing that they've put into this set and obviously the particular area that we're looking at now being the main, the, sorry, the main control tower area. Okay, so I'm just going to go out, back around to the rear because there is an area here where there's a little bit of a function, um, and it's this piece here. Maybe I to just see there. There is a hinge piece there because this does lift up. If I just lift that up there, we can see inside, um, and you can see there there are two. Um, spring load missiles and it's just simply a storage area for two spares so obviously there we can see one and the second one is there and they just simply get stored in there and then again that can close down so we're on the, on the rear and again some excellent detailing which makes up the rear of the Imperial Star Destroyer there you can see those awesome looking blue engines at the rear Okay, so just spinning back around to the side, now kind of coming down, first of all there you can obviously see that's where one of the spring loaded missiles is located, um, here you can just see behind there and uh, across there just some more detailing really, some great use of pieces I believe and bricks, um, here we obviously have the laser cannons um, on either side but these are obviously adjustable up and down like so and you can see they do mine side to side so there is actually if we look here this piece here and show you now you can that pulls out and push back in like so so what that is actually doing as I pull it out and push in you can see there these obviously do manoeuvre and that same function is um, identical on the other side. Again, just going to come down the side really, just show you some of the detailing. And on the side there. And obviously again back up, just going to spin round just to show you the other side. Um, and again, same function there. I'll just zoom out this time, you can see there. 
pull, push, pull, push, and you can see those rotating. And again, the actual laser cannons themselves can be raised and lowered. Okay, so that's kind of it for the exterior and the detailing, and obviously the spring loaded missiles. Just quickly show you those where I've got it in this position actually. So, most of you should know how these work. Um, there's a number of these that I've reviewed in my video. Just simply push down at the rear and it will fire out. So, put in that position and fire. And you can see it does fire out extremely quickly. Okay, so now we're going to have a look inside the Star Destroyer. So, how we get that access is first of all, this complete piece here lifts off. Um, Actually, before we do that, apologies. Um, there is one other feature, quite an important feature, which we can just see sticking out the top here. Um, that is actually a lever, which just simply lifts up, like so. Um, and that's actually how you can lift the Imperial Star Destroyer, like so. So it's just purely a carry handle stroke lifting handle. Um, so let's just put that down and you see it drop down in position. So back onto this main section here. Like I said, this just lifts off. Lift off and pull forward like so. So we have that complete section which we can put to one side for those of you that are interested. If I turn that over, you can see there all the various layers actually that are used to uh, build this particular Star Destroyer. So that now you can begin to see inside. Um, so there you can see some of the minifigures. Um, and again, what we then do to go inside even further is these complete um, side panels open up. These are on hinge pieces, which you may have picked up um, along here. Um, and this will just simply open up like so. And and go all the way and completely lay flat and do exactly the same on the other side like so so it may look a bit odd but we've now got pretty much of a pancake imperial star destroyer quite flattened but what that allows us to do obviously is get right inside the imperial star destroyer so i'm not going to bother too much about this is just how it's built effectively um, so I'm going to start from the front um, and this is where we can start to see some of our minifigures obviously Darth Vader sat there in his seat we have some sticker detailing here um, along the side and it's identical um, here as well being that round apologies for the noise you can see it there there is also some sticker detailing there we go a bit of light in there down along there and again the same on the other side so if you move further down again we have a couple of minifigures there we have this awesome this spins right there it's a little um oh uh, hologram which we can see there well, that's an awesome little figure um which we can see there here we have kind of like a main um control panel stroke map um, with detail on there and that is a sticker on top of a translucent blue um, window okay uh, we also have a little droid mouse as, as Ethan calls it set there obviously separate piece and that just sits inside the star destroyer so if I spin around now to the other side um, so first of all again we can see some more stickers there exactly the same as what I showed you at the front um, and then again here uh, the same stickers we also have this area here we have some more minifigures obviously stood there and again there's some more sticker detailing there and again if we can get that one in there Okay, so that's pretty much it really for the interior of the Star Destroyer. There's not a lot of functions in there. Um, but there is a lot of space as you can see to spit fit, you know, quite, you can get a lot of minifigures in there actually. We've got all the space kind of underneath there if we wanted to. So I'm just going to kind of show you it closing up again if I can do this one handed. 
Um, so these just simply lift and fold in. And let's try and get this one. Again, lift and fold in like so. Then obviously we have this section. We'll spin this around. This just simply we have to kind of slot the rear area in first and back like so and then hopefully it will drop into position like that okay so that's the main imperial star destroyer itself so now let's get those minifigures out and let's take a look at them in closer detail now okay so first up we have our two new storm troopers so let's take a closer look at one of those now and we'll take a quick 360 view and we can see he comes with the blaster and round to the rear you can see that print in detail continuing to the rear torso and with the helmet removed you can see his face printing it is a single sided printed face Okay, next up we have our Imperial Officer. We can see there the printing detail to the front of the torso and the cap he has on his head. And obviously the little bit of printing to that also. Let's take our 360 view now. The rear printing continuing around on that torso. And with the hat removed, so we can get a look at those uh, sideburns coming down there. And round to the front, so we can see the front um, face printing, and it is only a single sided face. Okay, so next up we have our Imperial Navy Trooper. And um, we can see some uh, printing there to the front of the torso and continuing down into the legs. Um, he has that rather awesome looking headgear stroke helmet on. Let's take our 360 view of that now. Again, you can see that helmet and the shape, and you can see here he comes with the blaster pistol. And printing continuing to the rear torso. And with the helmet removed, you get a better look at that face printing detail, and he also has the headset and microphone, obviously, um, printed in addition. Okay, so next up we have the Imperial Crew, and you can see there again, front torso printing continuing down into the legs. He has the lighter grey uniform and lighter grey cap, um, but with the same printing detail to the top centre of that cap. Let's have a 360 view of him now. And we can see he also comes with a blaster pistol. And we have some printing detail in uh, around to the rear of the torso. And with that cap removed, you can see the face print in detail. And again, this minifigure has the headgear and microphone. And the one that most people have probably been waiting to see, so the best left till last in this case, we have our new Darth Vader minifigure. So we can see that print in detailing on the front of the torso down into the legs, the iconic Darth Vader helmet and cape and red lightsaber there with a chrome silver hilt we'll take a closer look at this one in a second i'm going to um, bring this one up a little bit more up close um, but let's take a 360 view now again there we can see that lightsaber the cloak and that awesome iconic helmet and our rear shot there again seeing the full extent of that cape and there is no rear torso printing it's just a plain black back And with the helmet removed, I'm going to take a closer look at that print in detail to the face and torso um, in a second. There is some rear um, head printing too. Let's take a look at that now. And there we go. So let's take a closer look at Darth Vader. Okay, so here we go. So now a closer look. Let's just have a look at that front torso printing. And again, continuing nicely down into the legs. 
and back again so we will spin around this time there's the cape just to show you if you can see that it is a plain black rear torso and the howit Let's remove the helmet now so we can look at that face print in detail. Okay, let's just remove that in. And spinning around to the rear. Again, okay, you can see some of that detailing going on there. Uh, Darth Vader is looking pretty mean. Okay, so that is our new Darth Vader. Okay, I've also taken this, I just wanted to show this, I think it is pretty awesome. This is the um, General Palpatine or Palpatine hologram. Like I said, this is a clear translucent blue, but I think it is pretty cool looking. see there General Palpatine hologram okay so there we go that's my review of the Imperial Star Destroyer from the Lego Star Wars theme set 75055 complete so hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you did please do go ahead and give it that big thumbs up for me to show me your appreciation and support uh, let me know what you think of this set um, and indeed the other lego star wars uh, summer 2014 wave of sets what's your opinions and thoughts um, and obviously leave that down in that comment section and of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, first of all, why not? Um, but please do go ahead and subscribe to it. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>